where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. This week we've been talking about mothers and prayer, so I couldn't miss talking about one of my favorite characters of Genesis, Rebecca. Like many women of the Bible, she had difficulty having children. For 20 years they tried, but no baby. Of course, back then this was a huge problem, especially for women. Abraham and Sarah had had this problem. They mm, solved it by getting a second wife. But Isaac had seen how this had not worked out well for his parents, so he tried a different tactic. Genesis 25:21 says, Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. The Lord answered his prayer and his wife Rebekah became pregnant. Oh, how precious a praying husband is. As a result of his prayer for his wife, she did get pregnant, but she had a problem. In verse 22, it says, the babies jostled each other within her. And she said, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. And that was me at pretty much every stage of my child's development. I didn't know a thing about children. I'd never even changed a diaper like I told you earlier. But I was always going to God for wisdom about every little detail. How do I make my little darling stop crying? God, please show me. Why won't she go to sleep? What do I do? She just swallowed a bug. What do I do? She has a fever. Should I take her to the emergency room or wait for the medication to work? Those kind of prayers changed as my children got older. Oh Lord, what do I do when they're constantly fussing with each other? What do I do about the temper tantrums, theirs and mine? How do I find friends for them? Then we started homeschooling and other issues came up. But nothing's too big or too small to bring to the Lord. Sometimes God would answer by giving me wise mentors. Other times it was through my husband's encouraging words. Sometimes, a lot of times, the answer was loud and clear. This is to develop your patience. And I tell you, I needed a lot of developing in that area. So what answer did Rebecca get? In verse 23, the Lord says, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. Twins, Jacob and Esau. As God says in Jeremiah 33, 3, Call to me. And I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Now, God may not tell you the future of your children like he did Rebecca, but we can be confident that he holds their future. And as a mother, we can receive exactly what we need to raise our children as he did for Rebecca. And he can provide the wisdom we need for being a parent of adult children, grandchildren, or children in the faith. As God promises, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. I've always thought that verse should say, when any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, because we all need wisdom all the time. But anything, everything, whatever you need, whenever you need it, just ask God. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.